So hello and welcome to the channel everyone. Today I have a video for you about the Leclerc, which sits at a BR 11.0 now, along with um, its cousin, the Series 2, courtesy of the Rich Guys patch. So back in the day, the Leclerc was my first high tier MBT. And kind of like with Jets, I like to go back and reevaluate to see if it's still worth the grind today. So just looking at this tank, I mean, I, I've always just loved the look of the Leclerc. Some people may call it ugly because of the way the armor looks on the um, on the tank, um, but it just, it just looks beastly and war ready to me. I love it. Um, it did lose its commander's thermals in the Red Skies patch. That made me a little bit, uh, a little bit mad, but that's okay. You don't really need it that much. One thing um, that I talked about the armor, but one thing that I found about the Leclerc still is that the armor is really still pretty good. It stands up well to the DM33 and okay to the DM53. I mean, it has all the weak spots on the turret uh, that other tanks have, uh, like around the gun. You could get through there pretty easy. It has a fairly good top round, uh, the F1. Pretty good round with 575 millimeters of pen at 10 meters. The tank uh, has some pretty good mobility. Um, like I said, it lost the uh, the commander's thermals on the CITV, but the gunner still has really good thermals. It is a six second auto loader, um, but one of the downsides of the Leclerc is it, it doesn't possess uh, any active protection systems or laser warning receiver. So certainly the Leclerc faces more competition than it used to when it first came out. I mean, there's the T80BVM, uh, the T72 B3, uh, the 2A6 is out now. I mean, you got the T90A, uh, the Chinese ZTZ99. Uh, I mean, even the STR V122. So it's facing a lot of uh, pretty competent uh, peers. So again, how is it holding up? Is it still worth the grind? Uh, in my opinion, I say yes. But if what I've said so far doesn't convince you, I have a six kill gameplay video that might. So here's some notes on the video. I thought I was recording, um, but I wasn't. So uh, I had to pull the server replay. For those of you unfamiliar with the server replays, you will be able to see the enemy tanks in the video because you'll see their tags before I actually see them in my own gameplay. So I wasn't being potato. I just really can't see them because it's the server replay. All right, but enjoy.